A silent spread of the polio virus in New York is prompting the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to consider additional vaccinations for some people, especially since the virus has been detected in wastewater samples in New York City and in two counties that neighbor the city. A senior agency official says the one confirmed case just is the tip of the iceberg. And joining us now to talk about the virus is Dr. Shalika Katugaha, who is a system director of infectious diseases for bad this health. Welcome and thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. First of all, can you just tell us, you know, it's been, when was the last time we had a polio threat in the U.S.? So the last time we saw polio in the United States was 1979. It was brought in in 1993 by someone from another country, but really 1979 was the last time we had it. And so we've been seeing cases in New York, but is this something that we should worry about here in Florida or across the country? So in general, this New York case should, and the, the wastewater um, evidence should be a call to action for all of us because polio is very preventable. So if you get the vaccine, it's a childhood vaccine. You get it at two months, four months, six months, and then at four to six, it's two, four, six, eight, and then four to six years. Then 99 out of 100 people who got the vaccine should not get it. So really it's preventable. So what we can do is make sure everyone's getting vaccinated, children in all pockets of the country, and then adults who haven't had it before, before or who only partially got vaccinated should check in on that and look at that. Okay, so adults can get it now too? Yes, yes. Oh. And what are some symptoms of polio and what are some signs that parents or adults even can look out for? Sure, so polio is a disabling and can potentially be deadly virus caused by polio virus. So in some people, in one out of four, all it does is cause flu-like symptoms, and those go away in two to five days. But in other individuals, it can cause more serious symptoms and affect the spinal cord. So it can cause something called meningitis, um, which affects your head and your thinking processes in around one to five of 100. And then it can cause paralysis when you can't move arms, legs in one to 200 to one to 2,000 individuals. And in some of those individuals, polio virus affects the muscles that help you breathe. So then that's how it can be deadly. And how is it contracted? So it's a, it, lives in people's intestines and their throats. So a lot of the ways that people get it is on unsanitary food and hygiene conditions because it really is little minute bits of the fecal flora getting in people's mouths. So that's from food conditions and then that's from like children playing with common toys and some little bit of feces get on the toys and then it gets in their mouth and that's how you get it. Gotcha. So I mean the most the best thing to do is to get the vaccine. The best thing to do is to get the vaccine. Make sure you're up to date with the vaccine. Make sure that all children that you know are going to their pediatricians to get the vaccine. And you know I feel like since it hasn't really been an issue in the U.S., a lot of people just aren't as aware of what polio is. So if you have concerns, you know, should people just reach out to their doctors to find out more and to learn about prevention? Always, always. I would always say yes. Reach out to your doctors. In these cases, reach out to, you know, your parents if you can or schools to see if you've made sure that you've had the vaccine. All right, is there anything else we should know about polio and how we can protect ourselves? Just that when we hear about these outbreaks, that these are times that we can really prevent anything from going farther. The best way to keep people safe from polio is to make sure there's high immunity or protection in the community by making sure the entire population is vaccinated. All right, well, this is wonderful information. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.